Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the video is just uplifting or just gave you some vibes or insight that you truly appreciate and you learned something from, please go ahead and, and share. It would be greatly appreciated. And this video is called Twin Flame. 101 hey Oka is remembering the lessons that uh remembering the lessons but let the energy go y'all <laughs> it was like yeah yeah you know what I've been going through my week of my days of reflecting today is my birthday you know I appreciate all the people that's been you know connected with me and saying you know reaching out is truly appreciated you know I said I wasn't gonna do no videos until next week but um it's just about reflection of everything that has taken place in my life because it feels like 45 you know finally seeing 45 is like you know I, I was in that vibration where I really hated you know certain holidays and, and that was including my birthday you know but it's just like you know you're making a new story this, this is a whole new year for you this is something for you to go ahead and place together on leaving the past behind but learning from and appreciating so you can grow and heal and move forward you know and a lot of times it's so hard for us to be able to do that because it will be just certain things that take place in our life and we hold on to that like it's a safety blanket like it's a security blanket I know I used to be that type you know if you, you can resonate if you can you understand what I'm saying if not you know hey it, you don't understand what I'm saying but it, it's just like we go through a lot of things in life where we can really truly take it personal you know um, whether it's something that you know somebody done placed on us or certain things that we may have done you know and uh and we we get stuck in that vibration we really get stuck in that vibration and universe is like you know when it comes to other people in a situation like i place you in these situations because there's certain things you need i'm spotlighting in front of you that you need to know about yourself you know, you need to know about other people, the choices you make, the moves you make, how you see life, how you view life, how you go about it, how you move in your own purpose. Because we don't realize a lot of times we were already moving in our purpose before we knew about our purpose. A lot of us are still trying to figure that out. My, I'm figuring it out. I'm still figuring it out. I know where God has directed me to. I know where universe has placed me at. And they allow me to be able to go through life healing and reflecting and projecting, being able to tell my story to be able to see the positive in life even when you may be facing a lot of negative this is where your strength comes from it can either build you or break you all in one choice it's all about the choices we choose to make and it's just like you know what we're going through is for us to break out of our habits of toxicity the way we do things the, the choices we make the people we choose to be around the, the things we choose to affiliate ourselves with or we connect with or allow you know it's like if you see Pam you see Pam and you see her you know she's she's this uplifting person you know she don't really been through a lot but you see how that situation is really strengthened her and for her to do that She's done helped a lot of people in life. You know, the things that she went through really humbled her. And, you know, she had to learn a lot from that. And she had no problem with telling people, you know, she may have been a, 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 a drug addict or something like that. And she went through a lot of, you know, depression. I'm, I'm using an example now. Um, and she done gone through some things. And now she's been sober for like 10, 15 years. And she uses her struggle with... Uh, you know whatever her addictions was um and say, telling people you know i used to allow myself to keep going through the reoccurrence of how it's being treated of what i've gone through the bad choices and boyfriends or girlfriends i choose today from the pant family that um that abandoned me or you know i was living in foster care and went from foster home to foster home and i choose to deal with things by numbing myself through addictions you know there's a lot of people that can uh, relate to that you know because a lot of times it's like I tell anybody if you are empath and 
you know, you don't have some kind of addiction. And, you know, if you've been with me for a while, you hear me say that addictions don't always got to be with drugs or alcohol. It could be, you know, uh, eating disorder, self-harm, uh, sex addiction, you know, um, the self-harm, all those different things. And then it can come to, you know, pills, obit you know, uh, barbiturates, whatever, alcohol, you know, hardcore drugs and all those different things in life where that's how we use that to numb ourselves, you know, instead of allowing ourselves to really go through it and say, you know what, I don't like what my experience done took me through. I used to tell people that, you know, I used to live going through it by drugs, sex, you know, feeling like this is where my happiness was coming from because I didn't know nothing about meditating, you know, uh, discernment, mindfulness. I didn't know nothing about all those things. I, after my tragedy hit six years ago, it led me towards all that, you know, and I still go through it. And when I say this week has been really reflecting to me, I was going through some stuff and really hitting, you know, devil was really coming at me hard. And it was just like, this is your year. Okay, regardless on what's going on or what's taking place, who's trying to stop you, who's trying to, you know, flex you, you know, by sitting up here recognizing the good things you do and who's just trying to ridicule you. This is all going based on what you choose to do, how you choose to go about life. You know, a lot of people are not, they, they're wanting, they made big plans for their birthday, regardless if you don't have nothing to do for your birthday or you don't have anybody to celebrate it with or whatever. It's what your choice on how you choose to make that. You can be just like, you know what, I made it to another year. You know, my life may have not been really good, but God's been good to me regardless of anything that's been going on in my life. He's really been good to me. You know, even when I felt like he wasn't there, he was there, you know, but he wanted to see. I know I heard that this morning. It's like God don't want you to always give praise when I, he's doing good for you. He wants you to still give praise for him when things are not going good for you because he's wanting to show you these are the things that I'm strengthening you through. I'm hurting you to help you. You know, I'm breaking you to build you. You know, I'm making you fold through these things to help you be bold with different things. You know, this folding with the negativity and leaving that alone so you can allow yourself to move gracious through positivity. Be appreciative of all the things that has happened in your life. Being appreciative of the people that have been there to help you magnify yourself. Believed in you when you didn't believe in yourself. Loving you when you didn't love yourself. Showing up for you when you didn't show up for yourself. Because there's a lot of times with us as empaths, we've been that doormat. We've been that punching bag. We've been that person that we always counted everybody for us, you know, before we put for us, you know. And then a lot of times we don't put out for people they wouldn't put back. You know, they were always taken away, taken away. They weren't depositing nothing, but they had no problem with taking away. And these are the things where they're showing you had to learn that. You had to forgive to forget, you know. Forget about that, that emotion. Forgive about it. You know, forgive what that person did to you, whether or not you got an apology or not. Recognition on how they did you or not. The situation they put you in or not. This ain't about them. Even though it could be about them, this ain't about them when it comes to you being you. You being true to you. Because it's just the fact is, you know, that person will be doing whatever they want to do. But this is about how you are you going to allow their actions to stop you from being a better person, allowing yourself to heal, allowing you to be the best person because they helped you do that. You know, a lot of times I had to be able to be that flex with myself like, hey, you showing up for yourself and allow yourself instead of allowing yourself to be that, you know, that downward, that Debbie Downer. And I apologize to anybody who would name Debbie, you know, because I'm like Big Debbie, Little Debbie. It depends on the situation you're going through. You know, I'll say negative Nancy, Petty Peter, whatever. You know, I'm like, heck, I ain't talking about God rest his soul, Tom Petty or uh, Nikki, Miss Nikki Petty. You know, I'm just being Petty Petty. But it, it's at that point when you get into that point of your life and you got to really show up for yourself and show up and show out. You can allow the things that take place in your life and allow that to make you feel sorry for yourself. Put a pity party. Or you allow yourself to say, you know, I'm so glad when people showed me where they were in my life. Because that allowed me to move accordingly on how I need to deal with them. You know, appreciate the lessons I learned from what I didn't do or what I did do. What I said or what I didn't say. Or what I shouldn't say. These are the things I had to learn. Leave that energy where it was. 
appreciate that situation for where it was at because it puts you in a whole different atmosphere. And you, a lot of times we don't realize we got to get so assertive with ourselves. You know you got something that you need to do in life. God got a promise for you. He don't place a little, you know, a little snippet of what your life can become. You know, he ain't going to show you everything, but he don't show you this is where I can take your life to. This is where I can take a promise to you. I'm not leaving you on an empty promise. There's going to be good days and there'll be hella five bad days. But he's going to make you grateful I allowed you to go through those things. But the one first thing for you to do to be able to make peace with your life, you got to be making peace with those situations that you've been placed in. And I was like, ooh. I had to be able to tell myself that you got to make peace with the situations you've been placed in. There are going to be days where you you being concerned about people and they just come straight out of the box on you. you trying to figure out where the, did that come from and where was that at. But then it's just like you have to understand, don't take that personal. They, they may still be in that box of wanting to see you how you used to be. And they don't want to be able to pay attention to the good you've done in life. Or for the upgrade you've been in life. You ain't, you know, you trying to heal from the problems you had in life. Especially when you kept it real. I wasn't a good person. I wasn't a good mom. You know, I had a mom I treated bad. She learned what she learned from her mom. My dad learned from what, you know, what he did from his family. I don't even call him my daddy anymore. That was just a reflection. But it was appreciation for where my situation brought me to where I am today. Five, six years ago, I wouldn't be able to say I would be doing what I'm doing now, speaking the way I'm speaking. You know, wouldn't be able to say that. I would have been laughing if somebody would have told me this is what I would have been doing now. You know, trying my hardest to speak positive, being right with myself, not sitting up here, you know, cussing every five minutes. Because I used to cuss worse than a sailor. I put a sailor to shame the way I used to talk. You know, I come out and be saying something, I'd be like, ooh, my bad. And like, you know, you got to keep it real. But it's just the fact is, I'm, I represent myself. You ain't got to, you can sit up here. My mama always she told me, when you cuss like that, that means you're telling the truth. <laughs> you didn't tell the truth, but you had to be able to correct yourself. Don't be doing that. But it's just so many different things where when I go through my growth, you know, and I had to be able to make a new vibe up for my life. How do I see myself where I'm going? Do Where do I see right now where I'm at? You know, because I've been in that depressed mode for so long. Like, I was anticipating. And that's bad when you anticipate because you see how bad life can really truly be. And it's like, it's going to keep getting worse. Yes, it's going to keep getting worse. But it's just the fact is you always got to know. You have to be able to say, are you going to allow everything to keep getting worse, making you worse? Or are you going to allow what made worse made you better? That's your question. Are you going to allow yourself to be all up in here and be in your feelings about what other people do? And a lot of times when you walking around here mad and with an attitude, you just gave them exactly what they want. You allow yourself to know if that's how they want to show you how they truly work, believe them, appreciate it, and move accordingly. You can allow yourself to entertain that. Or you can learn that lesson, but leave that energy right with that person. Or leave that energy right in that situation because it just showed you. Let me show up for me. Let me be let me be that person. It's not being selfish by placing yourself first. Because a lot of times with us being who we are, we always put ourselves last. Now you have to be able to make yourself that priority. Because some people won't. There ain't going to be people that's going to ask you, hey, how you doing? Because a lot of times when it do, we, we, it, it, it just reminds me of that, that post that I made where I put up one day. We, we normalize people being fake, fraudulent, you know, using that fuckery, you know, but when somebody keep it real, want to see how you doing, you know, want to uplift you and just, you know, concerned about you all of a sudden, man, what you doing, what you plotting, I've been that way, because I'm like, I ain't used to nobody being like that, I be offish to myself, you know, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm actually here for you, man, I ain't used to that. And you know, and I, I had to be that type of person where I had to flip that script and then think about that with people that, you know, flip the script on me like that. You have to understand, they ain't used to a person like you. There was one time you weren't used to people like that with you because you've been so bad on choosing people that always had hidden intentions or you connected with people that had hidden intentions. You can go back and think about it and you can see so many red flags that you, you ignored at that time. 
but now it's at that point in your life. It don't even have to be your birthday, but it has to be a day when you're going to start showing up for yourself. You only got to keep going back and forth about what somebody did, what somebody said, what people keep on trying to do, what the enemy keep trying to do. Because it's just fact is anytime you want growth and you want better for yourself and you, you choose to you real and you ain't wearing no mask, you're going to always intimidate somebody. You're always going to be flexing fear out of a lot of people. And it's just going to be that way. You know, you're going to have people that don't like you. Just because of the energy you choose to keep it real with other people. And you say, I'm not going to allow nobody to take nothing from me. I don't care what you watching. I don't care what you studying up on me. I, I can switch up at any time. You know, I don't be saying, I don't be telling people word for word step to step I'm making. But I know if it can help heal other people or help them redirect their life on where they want to be, I'm going to do that. You know? I want to see other people happy. And I tell people real quick, I want to see you happy, but it's not going to be based off of my suffering. If that's what you want, you're going to be very disappointed. You know, because I use, it's at that point where now you got to use that fuel to be, you know, you got to use that fear or what people place on you and use that to make you better. Because there's something that they don't want you to discover about yourself. And that's a lot of the lesson that you got to learn. Allow you to get that. And, you know, I used to be that type of person. And I felt strongly about that. Mind your own business. You know, you see what I'm doing? Why don't you do that? Because I'm be concerned with other people like that. Because it's like, I want to see everybody happy. I want to see everybody grow. I want to see you get to that next step. But do that in a real way. Not by being real messy. Real, God don't bless no mess. Don't feel like good going to happen to you when you inflict bad on other people. Because that karma come back to you, baby. And a lot of times that mess, when it come back... It ain't going to be like you want to leash it. It's going to be 20, 10 million times harder. You know, and I tell people real quick, even when you know people give off that vibe like that, you still pray for them. You still pray for them because they fighting a war way worse than you. When they coming at you like that, the devil sees something in them and, they, and he eat it up. You know, because the devil sees something in you and he try to eat it up with you. These are all lessons that you learning. All lessons that you learn, and that's why I used to be that type, you know, tell people to mind your business. You know how peaceful this world would be if people quit trying to step up in other people's business and stop trying to keep them from the happiness they deserve because you feel like you deserve something. You, you can get it too, but it don't need to be based on somebody else's timeline. Stop trying to manipulate stuff because even when you try to manipulate it for yourself, it can mess you up. You know, you have to learn that all the time. You really have to learn it. It hit me on the cranium right there. I'll be like, whew, that's truth. You know, now it's just like, hey, you win some, you lose some. There's going to be people out there that's going to really, you know, really show you appreciation. They're going to really see it. I see it a lot of times on my on my comments y'all send me. That mess hit me to the soul. And I said, and even to the ones that send me negative comments, that hit me to the soul too. But that's showing me right there. I must have said something that really got up under your skin. But that's more about you and less about me. But I'm still say, God bless you. I'm going to still send love towards your way and healing that you definitely need. You know, and just be able to keep it moving. This is your time. This is that time where everything that you are dealing with is showing you to the core of what you no longer are or what you need to be or what you're working to be. You know, there's a lot of times we can sit up here and think negative about everything that we go through. But when's the last time you congratulated yourself? I don't went through a whole day. Of not thinking about what negativity I got going on in my life. Whether it's if I'm by myself all the time. Or I'm just really wanting for that, that kingdom husband or kingdom wife to finally come in. But then it's just like you don't realize these situations you're facing is preparing you for your kingdom husband and kingdom wife. This is creating something for you to be a better person inside and out. Knowing who you are, th th how you define yourself, what you represent and what you you know uh what you what you are to the core allowing yourself to not be upset about what people are because this is at that time where you know even when you when you you know you learning when your response is ready to where oh i know they saying this to be like this or i know they doing this to you know try to make me look like this then it's showing you right there you allowing yourself to define let people to define put their little deflections on you and let that define you. But when you catch yourself doing that, you know when you're learning. 
Like, are you going to respond to that? Or are you just going to see where, where their head's at and what they trying to do? Because that's toxic. <laughs> you know, that's toxic, especially when you know you ain't coming from there. That's really toxic. And you have to be able to say, hey, did you see that? Tell yourself, yeah, I saw that. Are you going to res uh, respond to that? No. But I'm going to let myself observe that mess and move accordingly with myself and say peace and God bless you and keep it moving. These are the things that we learn and where we keep that energy where it's at. Because you know, like they say, a person will bring a bone just to take one back. People will sit up here and talk about everybody and as soon as you leave that table, you're going to be the next thing they talk about. It's okay. They always say you don't even eat with folks like that. You know? There's going to be different times where people are going to have that old version of you. And it's okay. Right where that is, you leave them right where that is. Some people you have to love no matter who it is. Some people you got to love people from a distance. You got to distance yourself before you allow yourself to entertain disrespect. And people want to make excuses up instead of making changes, baby. You, that's where you make that choice for you. Those are the different things you learn in life lessons. Believe that energy where it's at. I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I have not got a chance to sit up here and um, reply to your uh, post. So please don't take it, you know, personal. I said, I, like I said, I wasn't even going to do videos today. But I was guided to say what I had to say. So I'm going to make a few videos and call my, my business. You know, I said, I may go ahead and reply today. And I may not. But if I don't, you know, please understand. You know, I was just guided to make these and go and go about my business and go ahead and reflect and go ahead and chill. You know, probably like it's 1999 today. So, anyways, I would love to give a post notification shout out to Storm, Baby Steg, uh, Koi Lejeune, and um, Timberwolves. Much love to you as well. Thank you for dropping lines. You know, if you ever need any kind of uh, spiritual uh, insight. You know, I'm, you know, I'm your girl. You know, um, I tell people I'll leave my contact information in the description box below. You know, a lot of people email me and we speak and, you know, they tell me about different things. You know, and I try my best to be able to help out, you know, give you a deeper understanding of your purpose. Whatever we speak on is confidential. And if you feel like, um, you know, that uh, you want to be able to speak to me in that way, you know, like I said, I help out the best way I can can and whatever we speak on is confidential and i also leave the link to my podcast as well from my my podcast for spotify and if you ever feel generous enough to make a donation you know the cash app is there as well so i hope you have a blessed weekend please be responsible and safe for everything you do you know make sure that you know uh even through social distancing that um you go ahead and you know project out love like through words, vibes, frequencies, you never know how that can really take somebody a long way. And just because you took that time to do that, it'll take you even further. And whatever your manies are that you're trying to bring into your life, you know, I bring out some extra love towards you. You know, you're going through a lot of things. And if God is preparing you to wait, he's going to magnify you in so many different ways. So keep being consistent and persistent. If you got to take a break, that's fine. You can take a rest, but don't quit. Be consistent and persistent. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love. Peace.